Hello everyone, welcome to my episode and we're going to talk about homeschooling and how homeschooling learn sports through online courses. Today, we have a special guest. Her name is Adrian Brown. She's an expert in homeschooling and also she's helping mom how to cope with homeschooling and how to be uh, more productive as a stay-at-home mom. And by the way, if you'd like to learn more about my program, it is called confidenceperformance.com. Uh, I offer free course with regards to basic taekwondo and basic self-defense. And check it out, confidenceperformance.com slash free course. I also have a podcast called The Lioness Raw, like oh, raw. Check it out from my website. I have all the information on my website. Let's listen to Miss Brown. Ta-da! Hi. Hello! Hi, <laughs> Welcome! Welcome! So she is Adrian Brown. She is an expert in homeschooling and as mentioned before. And then let's listen to her and I would like to ask Adrian, how about you introduce yourself? Hi! How are you doing, Sarah? Thank you so much for having me. And hi to her audience. <laughs> um, anyway, my name, as she said, is Adrian Brown and I am a homeschool mom of eight. I have that tag name because I have eight children. Wow. <laughs> um, four of them are uh, biological and uh, we adopted four, my husband and I. Anyway, um, we have home. I have homeschooled uh, for the last 26 years. My oldest son is 31. He is, um, gra he graduated, he's a college graduated, graduate. He went to West Point. Um, Army, you know, that's um, West Point is the military academy. He it's the best, best yeah. army in the, in the world, I mean, in the, in the U.S. Also. Oh, yes. That, and he graduated from there. Then I had another son who was also a military officer. So, and he's 30, 30, 30 years old. Then, of course, I have a 25-year-old son and a 21, all college graduates. Um, and then I have four who are still home. I have a 17 year old, 16 year old, 12 year old, and a eight year old. Anyway, all of my kids, um, some of them, the ones that I adopted, they actually did attend public school. But once we adopted them, we started homeschooling them and they just fell right into place with the, our with our system. And actually, um, they really enjoy homeschooling more than they did public school. My daughter said it's more challenging, actually, <laughs> which I'm happy about. Anyway, and so my goal as an older mom in parenting, staying, also, I did mention that I'm a stay-at-home mom. I've been a stay-at-home mom for, I guess, about almost 30, uh, 30 years. Yes, I've been a stay-at-home mom, and I love that. I have always enjoyed being home, raising my own children. Raising them, homeschooling them, just spending my time, being able to spend uh, my time with them. Anyway, um, so my goal in life right now is to be able to transfer what I've learned to other young moms who may not have the skill to be a mother or homeschool or run a business while they're at home. Um, or homeschooling, or they may, and, and they may not have someone that they can turn to because, you know, believe it or not, there are women out there that, that are like that because I was like that. I was born and raised on the West Coast, but I found myself living on the East Coast and I did not have relatives out here. I didn't have anyone I could go to to tell me how to be a mother or tell me how to raise my kids or tell me how to be a wife. So, that's a hard place to be when you have to figure all of that stuff out for yourself. And, and just, I learned trial and error. So I want to eliminate those hard, tough times for younger moms, younger parents by helping them. And therefore I created a course that will help them do that. And that's my, my whole objective. I have a YouTube channel and all of that because I want to be able to help younger moms to embrace who they are their, with their children and to love doing it and to feel good about doing it. That's my mission now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's so touching. That's so touching. <laughs> like, I remember I stay home uh, for my kids, but mm -hmm. only for four years. And uh, I really, really love it. Uh, yes. So, I you know some people may not able to afford it, but mm -hmm. if you can afford it, uh, why not? Uh, it's, it's good for the kids and the kids love it. I love it. Um, when I was a kid, my, my mom stayed home uh, for all of us. I, I really love it. I appreciate it very much. Even though uh, she may not have pension, actually she didn't have pension. Uh, mm -hmm. She relied on us to give her monthly allowance, but I, I, I don't mind. I, I really appreciate that when she stay home for all of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they say uh, the kids are happier. I know mm -hmm. I have friends that do not like to take care of kids at home and they say, no, I'm not good in parenting. I prefer to send my kids to daycare. So yeah, but if yeah. you have the passion with the parenting and you like the you have the passion to stay home with the kids, why not? And they learn a lot and they're more secure, uh, maybe happier. I'm sure they're happier. And I I am I, I appreciate my mom and I think I'm happier. Uh, so yeah, yeah like yeah. learn more about that and tell us more about your homeschooling and how 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 do you manage your time? Well, you know, I I I am a um, advocate of like blocking block timing blocking mm -hmm. my time for anything i need to do like if for my own personal time my um self-care regeneration time i get up in the morning every morning and between 6 and 8 30 that's my time my time to work on my business to do my devotionals which is the first thing i do when i get up in the morning because that's where i find my strength i have to do devotionals to keep my mind to, to work on my mind the spiritual part of me and then the rest of that time, I'm able to come in here and get on my computer and work on my business. I, I have specific blocks of time. When it's time for me, um, for my children to get up, they know I we, we, we have trained them to the point to where they don't have to come to me to fix breakfast for them. They fix their own breakfast. We have things that are, you know, I uh, we have simple things for the younger ones to do, like cereal or, or um, bagels or burrito wraps or something like that, you know, something very simple. Or their sister could cook eggs for them, make biscuits, make anything. Because she's 16. She she is a, she helps me tremendously. So while they're getting breakfast, I'm sitting down getting their school books ready. You know, so homeschooling has a lot of perks. <laughs> you can train your kids to, to help you in so many ways. I don't know, remember the last time that I had to really just get in the kitchen and clean up the kitchen all by myself. I don't have to do that. So because of the training that the kids have, and I I find the time, um, like I said, we we homeschool after they finish eating their breakfast. We're homeschooling from that time on until around two, because I want to get it over with. And sometimes we finish at twelve o'clock. It just depends on how diligent the child is, and my teenager. She does a lot of her um, high maths, like she's doing algebra too. That's an online program that she does. I don't really even have to do anything for her. She can, she does that on her own. She she's enrolled in college courses, um, language one on one and one. And by the way, she got an A in both classes. <laughs> but that's something she does on her own as in high school, you know. So that is our at our actual schooling time. And then once that's all over, we have a downtime. Mm -hmm. Between three and four, they're reading, just um, going outside to play or whatever they want. And then what do I do? I get on the computer and work on my business again. And then I do that until five o'clock, 5.30. Then that's my exercise time. I have an hour. I give myself at least an hour to work out. I do aerobics or weightlifting or something to keep my um, my physical self taken care of. So my whole, and then after that, I'm trying to give you all the, the my entire day. And then after that, we, my husband usually takes over because he's retired. So he usually uh, do a lot of the cooking, you know, so I don't really have to worry about cooking too much anymore. I do every once in a while, but most of the time I do not cook. So he'll have dinner ready. So we eat dinner around 630 and we watch the news as we're eating dinner. And then at seven, when that's over around seven o'clock, we sit down and have family time. We just talk about, you know, everything. 
And then at eight o'clock, my younger ones are in the bed. I don't play that. They go to bed. <laughs> we, well, I they mean, go my, to bed early. Good job. They go to bed early. And my younger one, I mean, my older girl, she goes to bed around 930 during school. On the weekend, she stays up till 10. But we have always had um, schedules to follow because that is the way I have found uh, to keep the sanity in my home for myself as a mom. If, if, Cause you know, if mother, if mama not, is not feeling well, the whole house is not feeling well. Mama needs to feel well. So that's how I, that's how I do it. That's how my time is blocked. It's, bl it's called block timing. Mommy time. It's important to have mommy time, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. Mommy time is so important because if you can't, if you're not, if mommy is not doing well, how can she help anybody? Right? You exactly. Yeah. It's like before we can love other people, we have to have self love. We love exactly. Self love exactly. So that we can give more love to other people. Exactly. Self love is parent. Self love, self care. Mom must take care of the spiritual side of her, the physical side of her, and um, the side of you that the, the creative side of you. That's why I love my businesses and I, you know, um, working on my business and writing. I'm creating um, and just uh, books and different things that I can share with other people. That's my creative side. Um, um, being a stay at home mom who homeschool and run a business is not easy, but it's very productive you can be very productive and you can do it yes oh especially with you like mother of eight uh <laughs> that's, that sounds a lot of work that appears a lot of work but you actually handle it really really good so Thank what you. is your secret about it like what is your secret that you can handle it with like with the house chores with managing kids and managing their schooling at home how do you do that well that's the that's that's exactly the proper, the, the best word, manage. Manage. I manage. Mm. And I am, I'm really a manager. I manage my home. My mm. children know because we taught them young. And remember, I adopted four children. And they were not, when I got them, the oldest one um, was eight. No, it was nine mm. when we first got them. So I know my management system works because they came in and they fell into place they were able to to follow what we what's expected of them you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's not like so it was, it's not we did not they're not um i don't know how to say it. we didn't over they're not overwhelmed they're not being used to slave in our home or anything like that but we just trained them in a good way with life skills and mm -hmm. because we because my husband and I believe that believe in training children and giving them life skills because it's good for them when they leave this house. My four older ones who are all gone, they run their own homes. They can do everything. They know how to cut grass, take care of the outside of the home. They know how to take care of their cars. They know how to cook. They know how to wash clothes because we, we train them. So as a manager, as a, a mom manager, <laughs> In order for me to to thrive, I have to train my kids. If I don't train them, then I will have to do everything. And there, as there's, I can't do, I cannot do everything by myself. I learned that a long time ago. But you know, in order to to train your children to help you and to help you run the home, you have to let go of perfection. Mm. And I'm I'm not a I guess a high achiever. I do it. I do. I have a high standard and they know that, but I'm not a perfectionist. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but they, but, but it's amazing how children thrive when you train them and teach them how to do stuff. And they, it helps you as a mother, as a mother to run your home and, and it eliminates stress. You, no, no one's confused because they know what's expected. You know, like every morning we have chickens, we have chickens and you know animals outside. Every morning, my eight-year-old, my twelve-year-old, they get up because they know that it's their job to go outside, 
feed the chickens, feed the cats, collect the eggs, give them water. They know all of that. I don't have to tell them anything. They just do it, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not the one going out there having to, to take care of the animals. They do it. My, my my 16 year old, she'll come downstairs. And if the younger ones want French toast or omelets or anything that needs cooking, she does that. She helps me because I trained her how to cook. <laughs> you know, so this is how you manage your home in a way where you can do it, where you can have it all. That's how you do it. <clears throat> you are a great manager. Like you know how to uh, delegate. We call it delegate job or task yes. to your yes. children. So that they become responsible kids, right? They know That's their children. Right. You don't have to tell them every day. Like this is your task. You have to remember to do it. Like I don't have to tell you every day. You know your job. Exactly. And a good way. It's a good way to teach your kids to be uh, responsible and also learning some skill. You know, life skill. The life skill mm. like cleaning the dish. Uh, feeding the animals, uh, uh, those are life skills that uh, the school may not teach you. You know, the formal school system may not teach you the details. That's right. That's right. They and they don't. The kids, a lot of the kids um, that are the older kids, like for my my older children who are went to college, even in a military college, they ran into people who didn't who couldn't do any of that stuff. Mm. And they said some of the guys could, did not even know how to use a lawnmower. And my son was like, Mom, I can't believe some of these guys can't even use a lawnmower. I was like, because they weren't trained. Nobody taught them how to wash their clothes. That's not good. You, you, if you're doing a disservice to your child if you don't train them in these things. You know, so I know some moms want their houses to be perfect and to be done a certain kind of way. But even so, you need to train your kids so that they know how to run. You know, when they get into their own home, they'll know how to run it. They'll know what to do. Grocery shopping, any, all of that stuff. It's very important, Sarah. Yeah, <laughs> it is important. And I know not many uh, parents um, have the time to think about it. You know, when parents are working, for example, uh, when I stay at home, I have more time to think more detail. Mm -hmm. have more time to manage, have more time to to plan <clears throat> because we only have 24 hours a day mm -hmm. imagine like if you are working at the office you have a full-time job as mm -hmm. a mom uh -huh. work like at least 7.5 or up to 10 hours a week by the time you come home you're actually exhausted you're tired yes. and you may not have the the time to think or plan more and by the time you get home you just have to Sometimes you may want to cook. Sometimes uh, parents just order food, and yes. I'm, it's just not much time to to think how to talk to kids, to think how to plan for the kids' event, to think how to plan for their future. Yes. And sometimes yes. you're just too tired to talk about it, and sometimes you just do it yourself. You know, oh, it's actually it's easier for me to do it than to teach yes. you. Yeah. It's hard. Like, I, oh, I don't want to explain to you. You know, so much detail. I'm so tired. Why don't just I do it? I do it. It's it's faster. Normally, parents think that sometimes I do that too. I say, oh, it's just too tiring or too too much work and take too much time for me to even explain to you what to do or what to plan. And, you know, what to uh, plan for your future. It's like, let me do it. Let me do the cooking. Let me wash the dishes. Let me clean the house. Let me exactly. take away the garbage exactly. because it's clean. It's faster, right? Because I need to sleep. For the next day, I need to to do many things. For the next day, I need to do grocery shopping, and yeah, many parents ended up just do it themselves. And yes, and yes. Studies or studies more important. Uh, don't worry about the home. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why I I, um, I did that that kind of mistake too. And I realized, oh no, it's not good for them. And no. I tell them, like, what to do? this your your weekly task. Remember, I I don't have to tell you every week. And this is your weekly task. You have to do this, do that, do that. And this is your daily task. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, I have to remind them. Sometimes, when you are at work at the office, when you come home and you just don't want to do any more work and you just want to have a rest and do maybe it's cooking, tired. it's too tired. Yeah. Yeah. So though for though you know for that mom, because see, I was there at one time in my life, and my I only actually at the time I only had my two older kids, so um, 
I did not, um, I was very tired when I got home. And, and, and at the time I was a single mom. I only had two kids. So I had two kids and I was a single mom. So I had to go work, mm. pick them up from two different daycares, then get myself to the house, cook for them and make sure. And I was like, I was exhausted. I was just too exhausted. But on the weekends, I still had a chance to have my kids help me, teach them how to help me. They can, if the way I, if they can pick up a toy, if they can take a toy out, they can put a toy back. So I trained them like that. Even when they were young, I said, look, you pick this you play with this or so let's go put it back. And I showed them how to do it. I demonstrated it. And after that, when I say it's time to stop, it's time to play, stop playing. They pick their toys up and go put them up because I taught them how to do it. You know, I learned that we have a tendency to tell our kids to do stuff, but we without instruction, without instructing them in how to do it, and that's a lot of that. Uh, that causes a lot of problems. So, yeah. if I want my child to to mop the kitchen or take the trash out, I need to demonstrate for them to do that. So you can't a working mom can't do that. Teach all of those things all at once. So what she has to do is just take one thing at a time that working mom have you can't like this you know the proverbial saying is you can't eat an elephant all at once you eat it bite by bite, bite right so what you have to do <coughs> excuse me yeah. is train that child just in one thing and over the weekend when you when, after you're rested teach them how to cook their own eggs or teach them how to wash the dishes and put them up properly Teach them how to load the washing machine. There's always something you can train your child. Homeschooling is a, for us is a way of life, but parenting, mothering, that's a lot. It's it's a way of life too. It's a it's it's a lifestyle. You have to teach. You are supposed to take what you know and train, uh, transfer that to your child. Because if you don't, who's going to teach them? How they going to know? Even though you're tired. You got to get yourself some rest and then over the weekend, try something. And a lot, a lot of moms, when I worked outside the home, you just can't do everything. The magic word is N-O, no. You have to learn how to say no to certain things, right? It's the key to your rest. You have to say no. You can't do everything. Uh -huh. And I had no problem saying no to certain things, even in church. I could not serve everywhere in church because I had my little kids. So I had to say, no, I chose what I felt like the Lord wanted me to do. And that's why I served. And most of the times I served where I could be with my kids. I did not throw my kids over there and go serve there. Nope. If I, and if I couldn't be there, my husband was there, but you know, for a working single or a single parent, you you won't be able to get it done as fast, but you still can do it. You can get it done, right? <laughs> yeah, so mm -hmm. true. You are so experienced with that. Like, how how do you um, so in terms of exercise, right? It's homeschool children and homeschool mom. How do you manage your time to exercise? Do you go outside or do you do exercise at home? Oh, that's a great one. We have both. You know, sometimes when. Um, we, we, we were always, we would get on every team. We would do basketball, um, basketball, football, soccer, all of that swim. My kids did it all. But you know, when COVID hit, we had to learn to do things in the house. And that's where the online YouTube came in, came mm -hmm. into play. I found Taekwondo online for my son and I found dance for my child and they loved it. You can learn. My my child was so my boy. He is uh, eleven at the time he, when we first started it, doing the taekwondo, and he's learned so much, so many moves just by the online video. And he, yeah, that, that's right. And he learned how to count in um, Korean. Yeah, <laughs> he learned all the different stances. He loved it. The kicks. He learned the kicks, and he loves that. He and he he um uh, had a chance. This these people offer him a chance to earn the belts and everything. 
right online. So it can be done. Taekwondo is a discipline. It teaches them to let respect. It teaches them self-discipline. Yep. And I like, you know, to be confident in your, in themselves, you know, confidence. So it's true. I truly like that. That's how yeah. we do it. That's how uh, my confidence performance uh, came. I thought many kids lack of confidence, even adult. I myself lack of confidence, really depends uh -huh. on the context. Uh -huh. That's how my confidence performance academy was created. And I uh, teach Taekwondo through this academy and I actually created an online course and whoever who, whoever are interested, you can check it out, confidenceperformance.com slash free course. And I do online uh, teaching. I don't have a physical techno school because I feel that I can reach more people through my uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. And I really hope to express and transfer my knowledge to the younger generation, but as well as to the older generation, especially mm -hmm. for moms. For example, like you are a full-time stay-at-home mom and also yes. a mom. I'm mm -hmm. sure many moms would love to do some exercise and I'm sure many moms prefer to do online because of pandemic but also because of the uh, flexibility of uh, places. You can do online course or online learning whenever you are, right? You can do it exactly. at your home, you can do it at the park, you can do it at the beach. So you just have to bring your computer and you can do it there. So that's why mm -hmm. Um, I'm, I'm doing Taekwondo online and I also uh, open up for adult, especially mom. I myself, mom, mm -hmm. I do understand exercise is important and we really have to find the time. And I will like take this opportunity to actually announce my academy and for founding member, if you join in the month of May, you know, lock in the monthly fee, which is only $10. $10 oh. a month, you lock in, and we're going to meet every week. It's like one time a week, we meet and we learn uh, Taekwondo. We also learn fitness. I'm a certified fitness coach. I teach fitness classes like wow. um, high low impact, you know, aerobic exercise. And we do uh, Tyrobic. I created a program called Tyrobic, which I combine the regular exercise movement high low impact with taekwondo movement like we wow. do jumping we do uh stretching and we do people call it yoga i prefer to do it call it like stretching and flexibility training and uh reset relaxation and uh high low impact with some tarot or taekwondo movement and that's how it is and yes i would like to take this opportunity as a surprise <laughs> <laughs> uh, announcing my academy is called confidence performance academy uh the founding member if you join the month of uh june actually i'm actually uh in in this for celebration uh father's day celebration in the month of June, if you join it, it will become the founding member. You only pay ten dollars a month, and you lock in for the rest of um, of my life. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> yeah, so you can check it out uh, through the link description below, and also Andrian uh, Brown, her program, her homeschooling program, and how she take care of parents and mom and kids is also in the description. Okay, so check it out. Yeah. And wow, wow. Yeah, I hope, awesome. I hope to have you. I hope to have you as my uh, in, in the academy and we can uh, share more about parenting. We can share more about homeschooling. Um, many people think that Taekwondo is only kicking and punching. Uh, it's actually not. I learned mm -hmm. so much from Taekwondo. The Te is like anything with Te is anything uh, to do with the lower body techniques, like kicking, mm -hmm. pushing, and the Kwan. Kwan is anything to do with upper body, like punching, like blocking, like knife hand chop, and different mm -hmm. types of movement using upper body. And the Do, Do is a philosophy of life. It's a way of life. Like in Taekwondo, we learn about uh, respecting. It's like there is a rule, like a tenet. We call it tenets of Taekwondo. They are uh, respecting the senior. They are mm -hmm. about honesty. And honesty, or we call it integrity, is what important element in taekwondo and we learn about self-control how to control emotion uh, whenever we're angry we don't just like 
throw that out. We must know how to control and how to use proper words when we talk. Mm -hmm. And also learn about, uh, we call it indomitable spirit, like to have the spirit of never give up. If you want to achieve a certain goal, mm -hmm. you just don't give up and say, bye-bye, I don't like it. And all we learn about step-by-step, -step, baby step on how to achieve your your uh, your target or your goals. And yeah, mm -hmm. so my, my uh, slogan is called attitude. Uh, attitude determine altitude. I really like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think... Nice. Attitude is uh, one of the elements before we start anything, like anything. We must have that. That's right. Attitude, right? If you don't have the attitude, it's not easy to change. It's not easy to achieve your goal. And it, in attitude in everything, I think attitude is like the important skill, important uh, element in any goal setting. It really is. You know, yeah. And some people say, I want to achieve that, but I feel like, oh, I'm so tired. I want to sleep more. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm really uh, grateful that you can share your knowledge. I would like to learn more about your program. So you want to talk more about program? How can we find you? If you would like to follow you, how can we do that? Okay, anything. I, um, I'm the author of six books, and I have an online course, an online um, parenting course to help you manage your home. Just mm -hmm. I, I, I laid out the steps that I took to get my house um, to create systems to manage my home that's what my that's what my course offers and um all of these my books and my courses are all linked on my website which is called um homeschoolmomof8.com just like my name up there homeschoolmomof8.com and wow. also my tag is homeschoolmomof8 on instagram and twitter and pinterest so you can find me all over those different um, social media platforms. And um, like I said, though my books are all, everything are all linked to my shop page on my website. So you, you're able to find it like that. And I you would have, love. You have a book with you right now. You can show to the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. Uh, for podcast listener, it's fine. You can check the description down below. And for a uh, YouTuber. Um, not for YouTube, but for YouTube video, you can check the description below. Well, this is the book right here. Can you see it? It's called Commanded to Homeschool. This is wow. my this is chronically my um experience and my journey on how I homeschool and why I started. That's and you can get this off my website, Commanded to Homeschool. <laughs> That's my Wonderful. first book. Wonderful. And then I go ahead. Oh, it's really wonderful to know that you have a book and it's actually good resources for all homeschooler uh, parents. And if my, yeah. kid, uh, if my kids were younger, I would love to uh, homeschool more. I actually homeschooled them for four years when they were younger. Oh, uh, but wow. then I had to go back to work and then they went back to school. Yeah. Wow. Well, my book is, is it's not a how to homeschool book. It's more of a motivational, encouraging book telling you that you can do it. And and it has resources in here telling you where to go and um, to find more information on how to homeschool. But, you know. Oh, wow. It, it's And then I also created a series for teenagers who are homeschooled kids. And, wow. Um, yeah. So it's a two, it's a three part series, but I only have two that I'm working on the third one. They are all at, um, you can get these from Amazon also. <laughs> and so that's just three of my books, but I have other children's books also. But, um, wow, yeah. you're such a well established <laughs> author. I would yeah. love to read your book. So, I, yeah, that would be nice. So, <laughs> yeah. And I'll see you at my training. Yes. Once training yes and, i'm gonna go and click on that when i'm done <laughs> you know, you know. yeah so i hope you enjoy uh this uh sharing and also uh experience shared by adrian as well as uh, this content if you like this content make sure you share with your friends and click like and we'd like to say thank you so much for your support mm -hmm. and thank make you. sure you stay healthy stay safe and always have confidence within you because you are special Okay, yes. question feel free to send us email. Okay. Take care bye now.
thank you so you. much for sharing your knowledge. Okay, thank you so much, Sarah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>